Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today I am going to talk about how you can scan QR code using Power Apps. This is the most common requirement and it is useful for all the supermarkets. Now with this Power App you can scan any kind of QR code. So today I am going to show you the step by step process for reading the QR code in Power Apps. Also I am talking about one of the real life use cases throughout this example. So let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me. And if you haven't pressed the subscribe button and press the bell notification, please subscribe my channel. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me explain you the business requirement over here. Basically, I have stored the asset information into one of the SharePoint list and each of the item have QR code as well. So the ultimate use case was whenever a new product is added into asset list QR code automatically generated and after that we are consuming that QR code as a reading mechanism in Power Apps. That's the whole use case. Now if you wanted to know the QR code generation process I have dedicated Power Automate video on that where I have used Power Automate flow and Encodian connector to generate this QR code. But let's say for an example, if you already have QR code in place, even at that time, this app will work for you. You need to adjust it according to your business requirement. So now let me show you, this is the QR code. Now let me just scan this QR code with my application. So over here, I have my mobile phone in my hand. I also have this QR code and I also mirrored my mobile screen. Let me click on the application over here. So this is the Power Apps application. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this QR code. So let me click on scan QR code from here and let me just scan this QR code over here. And here we are. The QR code has been scanned successfully and now it will populate the information from my SharePoint lists. So let's wait for it. And here we are we got all the information from the SharePoint list. That's great. Now let's see the behind the scene logic from this app. So let's move to the development environment. So here I'm on my machine and here I already created this Power Apps. Now let me show you the process step by step. So first of all, let me just create one blank screen and let me just use a control for barcode scanner. For that, you need to go to the insert menu and you simply need to expand your media section. And over here, this is an option for scanning. So just increase the button size for scanning and just change the text. Scan your QR code. All right, that's great. Now, what I want to do is, first of all, to taste out the thing, I just wanted to display what is the result of my QR code. Because every QR code has different sort of mechanism in place. In my QR code, basically, whenever you scan it, it will give you the result like this. Let me show you. So basically, my QR code always have ID first. So let's say for an example, this is my SharePoint list. And let's say for an example, for MacBook, if ID is 10, it is the ID. So let's say 10, then it will be dash, and then MacBook, and then it just a location like IN. Okay, so my QR code output is like this. Now, I can easily get result from my QR code. And after that, I just wanted to display the item from my SharePoint list. So what I will do is I will do the some split operation over here, get this ID and then fetch this record from SharePoint list and display it to end user. So now let's see how we can do that. For that, I already have this page. So we added this button. We need to go to on scan event of this QR code. So on scan, I just define one set variable like variable scanned items and I use the lookup formula where what I'm doing here is I'm just looking up to my asset list and I'm doing the query against the ID. ID is equal to split of barcode scanner one dot value so whatever the result i'm getting from here i'm just splitting with the pipeline first and after that 
I am just getting the first element from this output. That is the overall logic. That's how I will get the entire item of the SharePoint. After that, I just take couple of labels here like ID, title, price, location. And I have some another labels as well here. So what I will do is I will simply use my variable that I've just set on this scanner and I will just use that variable dot the column name which is ID, title, price and location. That's it. It is very simple. If you are familiar with Power Apps, it's very, very easy for you. It's just a matter that on scan event, we will just need to find out the value. And one more thing, like if you just want to debug this app, let's say if you have any random QR code, you can just print the result in the text box. So you will get to know that what exactly your QR code is returning to you. So let's say for an example, in my case, I have barcode scanner one. This is the ID of your control. So you just need to add that barcode scanner one dot. You need to add value. So whatever the result of QR code, you will clearly see it over here. Okay, that's great. I'm saving my application and now I'm just publishing this app. So let's publish it. So let's say for an example, if you want to test this app, it will not support in the browser. Basically, you need to open your mobile devices for it. So I already published the app and now let me just open up my mobile screen. So let me just open the power apps in the mobile and I have this screen. Now I'm clicking on scan QR code and now let's see what we are getting here. So I'm just trying to scan this QR code. And here we are. You can clearly see here that what is written by this QR code, which is nine pipeline MacBook pipeline IN, which means that this is the outcome from your QR code. So even if you have any random QR code in place, you can see the result over here. And after that, we are just picking up this ID nine and we are just making the query against SharePoint list and populating the rest of the information, right? So this is how the end to end scenario is looking like. And this is how you can easily build QR code scanner application in Power Apps in couple of minutes. Isn't that amazing? So that's it for today. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultation, this is the website link. And don't forget to follow my another YouTube channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. So with this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.